Okay, is everybody on tab 13? Okay. Does it look like this? So remember, going back, just as a review, we did the teams. We took, this is for week 13, we took the average season, the average for the entire season, the median for the offense and defense of each team, and then we took the weighted average. Over here, we decided we did the matchups here. So Detroit was playing Green Bay. We basically calculated their predicted scores. And you can see down here what I did is I colored it based on I took this value minus this value. So if it's green, the team on the bottom one. If it's red, the team on the top one. Did you see that? Okay. You're going to be able to do this. And we're going to do this on the, the last half. So we did this. We calculated this. Down below, or actually, and then we go over to row K. This was the actual score. We took what we predicted, or what the actual score was, minus what we predicted based on the averages, the median, and the weighted average, and the wisdom of crowd, which was the average of all three. And we calculated how close we came to the score for each individual's team. Then what we did was we went over here and we said, okay, well, you've got individual teams. What about for the combined score? How close we were to the combined score? And so given in these four columns was how close we came to that. We did this for week 13, week 14, and week 15. Now we got to figure out which method worked the best, okay? We started doing that. So if you come down here, delete that, go to the very bottom, row 67, 68. Do you guys have average and median yeah. down here? Yep. So based on this, on the average, which method did the best? Actually, here's what I want you to do. Go to the very top. We're going to learn this. Go to the right of your spreadsheet. See this little kind of right by the arrow? Do you see where I'm at? My dancing pointer? Put it in the corner. What you should see is a double line. Put it so you see a double line. Hold down on that and drag it all the way to the, to the end of the first row. And then let go. <laughs> you guys are way too easy to impress. Put your cursor down here and now you can see that the tabs on the top stay where they are. Much, much better, right? You just learned a really cool Excel trick. <laughs> Dang straight, that is tight. All right. So here, again, we did the averages for each of the methods, how close they were to each individual team. Which method did the best, do you think, on average? Average, right, JC? Does everybody see that? The closer you are to zero, if we were perfect, that number would be exactly zero, right? How about medians? Which method did the best for the median? Median. Look at it. Oh, which? I, I thought you meant like the correct off median, and then which one did the average off? I know what you meant. Okay, now you know what I mean. Which one did the best? With some difference. Of I'll get. What's that? The difference observed of uh, wisdom of crowd. Yes. Wisdom of crowd did best, right? Because it's the one that's closest to zero. What's interesting is some of them actually probably underestimated and some overestimated, which I thought was very interesting. All right. But again, remember, that's one point. What is, what is a term we use to kind of define that hill, to, to define the spread of the data? We went over it yesterday. 
We did the graph, but remember, remember as the hill, we had that median, that middle point in the hill. Then we went out from the hill. Yes, Rod. Extra credit today. <laughs> Standard deviation. Yep. You're basically what you're doing is you're taking all your values and subtracting your the mean, and then you're doing the square of that. And I'm not even going to explain that because it's better just this is the how wide the hills are. So here's what I want. Let's let's do that. Let's go down below the average median. So 69J. Is everybody with me? Put in standard deviation, or you can go DEV. Actually, you can also abbreviate it, and that's what Excel is going to abbreviate it. You can go standard D, dev, STDEV. All right. Should we let, let us figure out how wide these hills are? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my function button, put in STDEV. Do you see, does STDEV come up? Yeah. All right, double click it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hit the ST standard deviation without anything on the end of it. Just STDEV. These are different types of standard deviations. As you can imagine, there's many ways, just like there is to describe the girth of somebody, there's many ways to describe how wide the hills are. Okay, is everybody with me? Okay. Here's what we're going to do is now we're going to pick the numbers we want to find the standard deviation on. So start at the very bottom, which is row 66. Does everybody see that where I am? Go all the way up until I think it's row 3. Yep. Yep. Hit return. Did everybody get, what number did you get? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> What'd you get? Nope. Got it. What'd you get, Rod? Or you have a question? All right, let me take a look. 